How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys doing wonderful. All right, guys. Today I will be harvesting shishu, and I'm doing it live because I want you guys to see what I'm doing, and I want you guys to also see how shishu can be invasive only if you allow the seeds. You allow them to push flowers, and you allow them to push seeds. So as you can see, all in this area is shishu, and they're all over my garden. So today, I'm definitely going and do a shishu harvest. And I want you guys to pay attention. Why I want you guys to pay attention? Because I don't know for everybody garden, but I know for my garden that shishu grow pretty big. These things grow like definitely trees in my garden because my soil is rich, so I believe that's the case here. So these plants is herbs. These are shisho herbs. Very interesting plant. Do your research on shisho. S-H-I-S-O. Very good. Studies say they're good for information. They're good for many things. Hey, good eats, how you doing? Thank you for being here. What's going on? Yes, yes. Yes, today I'm going to harvest some shisho because they're taking over my garden. Even though I know they is beautiful, I just can't allow them because what they're doing, they're shading a lot of my small plants. So I definitely cannot allow that. So, you see guys, I already harvest a nice butter nut squash this morning. Beautiful butter nut squash this morning. Yes. Yes, guys, so today I'm going to be harvesting shishu because they invade in my garden. They, they, listen to me. It's a beautiful plant. It's a herb. It has a lot of benefit, but it's just too much for me. Let me give you a little stroll on what I'm doing. All right, good eats. I appreciate you here, sis. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you guys. So all this is shishu right here. Look up here again. All this is shishu. So let me pull out a few of these plants that you guys could see. These plants grow huge. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want these plants to produce seeds because one plant will produce a thousand seeds. Okay? You see, this is the root right here, so I'm definitely going to be pulling this plant right out the root. I'm going to be pulling it right out the root. As you see there, you see the root? I'm pulling it right out the root. Because I don't even want it to grow back because I have so many different plants in here. I have yam growing. And this, look, look how big the tree is. Look how big the tree is. The tree is over four feet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pick them, pull them up, and I'm going to put them in a heap. I'm not going to pull up everyone. I'm going to be leaving a lot of them, but if I, if I could have given it to someone, give them all to some people, I would. But there's a lot of people who don't really know about these plants and presenting it to them. They might want to know what the hell, but at the end of the day, it's a plant that it helps draw information out of your body. It has a beautiful poking taste. Yes, it has a beautiful poking taste, but it's a good plant. And look how much. So what I'm doing today, I'm, I'm naturally pulling, pulling some of them out of the root because they, they're too much. And I'm going to leave a few of them. Look, 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 look down there. It's def usually, usually guys, you don't have to pull them out the root. You could just cut the limb and they will grow back. But the thing about it is, I don't want them to grow. It's too much. Look all, look all down there, all over there is so much. So for me to leave in, it's going to be 
are ongoing, ongoing. So no, I'm going to just pull up some of them and then I'm going to leave them. But this is a beautiful harvest I'm doing right here, guys. Beautiful harvest. I'm wishing somebody could contact me if they're interested in some of these. Do your research on Shisho. And if you're interested, I have many. And do your research and see the benefit of the Shisho plant. I grow them every year. I grow them every year. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hang up a line. And I'm going to put them indoors. Hey, life from scratch, how you doing? What's going on? Yes. So you see, that's a bungle right there on the ground. So I'm going to dry, put a, a line and I'm going to hang them up and, and allow them to air dry. So you see what's going on here now. This start clearing up. This is a bordock that was right here struggling under these shishu leaf. You see, he have small shishu growing up as well. I'm just going to get rid of them because in a week or two, they're going to be right back up the same, the same place. Over here, I got to pull up these again. I got to pull them up again. So what I'm, what I'm doing, I'm harvesting shishu. It's a hub and I'm also... You want some good eat? Well, sis, all you got to do is email me and you can get some because as you see, it's a whole big garden of shishu leaf. So just email me and you could get some. And do, do your research on it and you'll see what I'm talking about. I grow them every year. I eat them in salads. I also make tea. It's an interesting plant. But one thing you don't want to make happen, you don't want to make them go to seeds. Look how this tree big. This is a huge tree down here. Look at it. A massive tree, but I'm going to pull it out right, right from the root. Because if I don't pull it out from the root, guys, in two weeks, it's going to be back the same. It's going to be back the same again. So if I, what I can, what I can do, what I can do is, let me show you what I can do. I can break it like this. You ain't got to pull it out the root. You could just break off the top. You see? You could just break off the top like this and you could leave the bottom. But guess what? If you do that, we're going to happen. In a week or so, this thing going to shoot right back up like how it was. And that's not what I'm looking for because at the same time, it's sheltering a lot of small plants. So now I got to go through all my garden and just harvest majority of the shishu leaf. So I'm also going to pull this one up. Look what's going on here, guys. Look what's going on here. You see shishu leaf? This is... Yes. So look here again. In this little area right here, as you see, full. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to thin it out a little by pulling up some of them. You see, I have Edo's plant inside here. That's what I'm going to... So this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm pulling up by the roots. Listen to me. Like I said, guys, you could grow shishu. It's a very good, interesting plant. It's have a lot of benefit. But please don't allow them to go to seed. You see what I'm saying? Because what happens is, when they go to seed, what they do, when the wind blow, the wind blow them over your garden, and then you realize you have a whole patch 
of sisu just growing everywhere in the spring and the thing about it is their seeds could go through the winter even though they blow the seeds the seed could deal with the cold weather and they could come back in the spring so like i keep saying it's a very interesting plant but please do not allow it to go seed now the garden start lightening up now a while ago all this area here did bushy with shishu leaf but if you see now it start clean up and believe it or not your garden is very the air blowing through your garden is very important the sunlight is very important for the plant they do better so by you me keeping up all these shishu look down in this area here let me show you what's going on in here in this area here you see we have okra right here we have okra we have cucumber we have turmeric right here it's not getting the sunlight that it needs so these shishu watch now you see look how it cool now i remove this shishu plant look how the sun look how the sun has shined through in this area here we also have ginger growing up we have cucumber look you have cucumber you have but this shishu plant is actually saving them from the sunlight and that's not good that's not good at all so by me you see i have this is ginger growing here but the shisha plant covering the the ginger it covering the cucumber because they're very invasive once you allow them to turn flowers and they push seed all over your garden so by me removing this shisha plant look here again look here again by me removing the shisha plant it create more sunlight to these to the ginger and all the other plants over there so let me show this one again this is a huge one growing up here again so gotta pull it out from the root <laughs> look what's going on here guys watch look what's going on hey g mama how you doing thank you for being here what's going on so you see a whole pile of shishu and now look at this area look at this area how it's sunny now before a while ago this area was basically shaded with the shishu leaf but since i pulled them up look the big difference look this one this one is spreading like crazy these are huge plants if you allow them they will grow up to seven feet tall well in my garden i don't know for other people but in my garden they will grow up to seven feet tall so i have to get rid of this one again because this one is spreading okay this one is spreading <laughs> look the amount of shish you leave the bed G mama, you see what's going on here? Shisho. <laughs> no, this one, look right here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Right in this area here, we have five shisho leaf. Five of them. Now, there's an okra plant right here, and this okra is being shaded by these shisho. No, no, I'm removing them. This okra plant is going to strive even better remember guys this video this is not how you harvest your shishu i'm gonna show you in a minute how you harvest your shishu the reason why i'm harvesting them like this is because they grow up everywhere in the garden okay they grow up everywhere in the garden and it basically shading up my plants then so i'm trying to get rid of them from the roots instead of popping a limb like for instance this one if you have
have the saying you could break the leaf them like this you could pop the limb or if you want you could pop off the top if you want you could pop off the top right but i don't want the i want them out the way so i'm pulling up the whole plant but i'm not going to pull up everyone i'm just going to be pulling up some to create more light in the garden look at this you see the amount of herbs i have here guys just here sitting right now so now i got to create an area where i can run lines like lines and just hang them up on top of the line and allow the air to air dry them let me take up this one as well so now in this area now these plants are gonna do way better because now they have the sun penetrating them you see you have cucumber was growing here but they're not doing too well you have tomorrow growing here we are seeing more lights coming into the garden i'm gonna take you up here again where it's loaded again with shishu all right guys don't forget to like and hit the button i appreciate you guys hey fifi johnny what's up how are you doing i'm over here guys trying to get rid of these shishu man because man look the bungle right here that I get from just this little area here. You see? So now I'm going over here again to start harvesting more shishu. You see, I have tumarak growing here. This is tumarak. I also have yam. This is this is yam growing up here. So now all this is shishu growing inside here you see all this is shishu so now what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna this one i'm gonna pop the limb because you know what i'm gonna leave that one because the yam vines is spreading inside them so i'm gonna leave that that the yam can spread so let me come over from this side right so this is a whole line of shishu going over there right this is a whole line of shishu so what i'm gonna do i'm going on harvest this whole line of shishu okay you see how the place look bushy and watch and see the difference after i harvest this shishu don't get me wrong this is not the way you harvest shishu I'm only harvesting them like this because they too much in the garden. It's too much. You know, some of the plants getting sheltered. So this is how I'm doing it. But you don't have to do it like this. You don't have to do it like this. This is a big plant here again. Look at this one here. Pulling them up from the root. But I'm not going to pull up all. I'm going to leave a little bit to take me through. So I can always get some fresh leaf during until the last frost. But what I have here, what I'm going to do with them, I'm going and dry. I'm going and dry these. But the others I could just pick freshly for me to make my salad. Uh, you want to make a smoothie, you want a flavor of smoothie. You can always do that. okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to pick up every pull up every other one this video this video is actually to show you guys how sisu operates in your garden it's a beautiful plant don't get me wrong lots of benefit but please do not allow it to go to seed if you know you cannot control it because these plants grow hundreds one plant grow hundreds 
of seeds. So be mindful of that. So you see now, I clear away here, look the big difference now. So now I'm, I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to leave this one and I'm going to go over and I'm going to leave this one as well. If you see, my yam vines is inside. You see what's going on here? My yam vines is here, so I'm not even going to pull that. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to take this one out. Okay. So as you see what's going on here. I think now is a place start to get more clear. I can't take these out because the, my, the yam is up inside of, you see what I'm saying? Running through the vine, so I'm not going to pull them. But as you see, guys, let me show you what's going on here. As you see. Let me show you the... Huge shisho harvest. I know the. So I have tons of herbs. Tons of herbs. Do some research on this plant, guys. Look here. Look the amount of plants I pull up. I'm going to show you uh, another area over here. Even here. Even in this area here. What's going on in this area here? Let me show you how these plants operate, right? What's going on in this area? That's a pepper right there. And because of this plant, this pepper not getting no light. So you see, right? Watch this. Pull up this one. Oh, look at all to the guys. Look at all to you see? You see an earthworm, these worms, you don't want to damage them. You want to make sure that thing running like a snake go over there. Don't damage these worms. Very important. Okay. But you see what's going on, guys. Now, the pepper tree loaded with sunlight now. You see? And I'm going to take this one out as well. Okay, you see, you see what's going on there? Look at that now. The light, the sunlight has just appeared. This plant been sheltering under the shisha plant for a while now. And because of that, this plant remained this small. Even though this plant should be as big as these, these plants over here. Because all of them plant the same thing. This plant should be as big as these. Oh man, look at these pepper guys. But these plants should be as big as these. Look at this one here too. Oh my goodness. Look at these, look at these pepper. I don't know if you guys are able to see the size, but my goodness. But this is what I'm seeing. You guys send me? If, if it's still connecting, please. You see those pepper? Yes, those pepper have the, have the juice. Yes, life from scratch. Those pepper I now show you they have the, 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 the juice, the fertilizer, the 100% super juice. Those pepper you see have there, they have that juice. And if you see, these peppers are still young, but look at the size. Look at the size of the pepper, even though they're still young. So now, as you see, guys, the garden starts lightening up. Because what happened now, I remove majority of the sisho plant. I remove the majority, so now the plants them get more life. I should already remove them a long time ago. I just didn't have the time, but now I remove them and now it's production time. Okay? I don't want to go over there because when I go over there, I'm losing service. But 
This is actually what's going on here. All right, over there, we also have, I don't know if you see there, but there's a wrong patch of shishu leaf right there. I don't want to go over there because I might just lose service, so I don't really want to go over there. But there's another patch of shishu, which that patch is not bad in any plant, but that one as well I'm going to harvest, but not today, because I have... A bunch of shishu now I got to prepare, put together, put in areas that they can dry properly. Because I don't want to dry them in the sun because the sun kind of quail up their leaf too much. So now we're getting a better look. All these small plants up in there, the shishu was covering over. But now I come in and I rip them out. Now the sun is blooming now all over the garden what a beauty so hey guys i'm not really seeing the chat like that so i i can't really re respond to the chat but i just want you guys to see this video because i mean it's all about we learning from each other so this video might be able to motivate someone and tell someone that if I'm growing sisho, I'm going to make sure I get rid of them before they push flowers. Make sure I pull them up. Because once they push flowers, I'm going to be going through the same thing. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> I guess I went in too deep. You guys still here? If you guys here, let's go again. So now, what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be figuring out now, what are we going to do with these shishu leaves? So basically, what I'm going on do here now, I'm going on, hold on guys. 